everyone thanks for checking out the video um, I'm just going to go over something I picked up recently this is a Tech Life P40 model uh, it's made by a company called Tech Life uh, again the model number is P40 this is a mobile power station essentially it's a lithium battery that's inside here and it gives you options for AC outlets USB six, uh, USB type A one USB-C and the USB-C port is a 45 watt USB-C port so to be more specific on these any one of these uh, one of these will um, support up to a maximum of 300 watts on the P40 model so as long as whatever you're using doesn't really go a, doesn't have running watts above 300 um, you can use it off of one of these outlets and you can see the LCD screen uh, how much power is being input and that's either through an AC outlet to charge uh, the P40 or you can hook up a solar panel to it and charge it up as well or charge it up by way of that as well and you've got DC on and AC on. So AC are, are these two outlets. DC will be these ports here, these USB ports. So power or generator power. Uh, so there are times when I pull into like rest stops and things like that and I just want to use the TV uh, for a few hours. I also have an Amazon Fire Stick and I run both off of these two outlets. I plug TV into one, plug the fire stick into another, and I'm good to go uh, for a couple of hours. Well, actually I'm good to go for much longer than that, but um, it takes care of uh, my ability to watch TV without running the generator for two, three, whatever hours. I'm gonna watch TV at night at a rest stop. But I can use it multiple times. I've used it over uh, two nights in a row for about three hours per night and didn't have any problems with it. I also charged my phone off of it. I also charged my iPad off of it uh, and still have power left. So it's, it's come in handy so far. Uh, I also would like to run additional things off of it such as um, this uh, work sharp knife sharpener. I want to be able to run it without actually having to crank on my generator. I'm in a situation where I do have the generator on, I'll just run it off of that. But this uses up less than 300 uh, watts while running, which means I can run it off of this. So this is just an example. My DeWall battery chargers, I can run those off of this, off of this. Again, charge various devices. I can also charge my MPF batteries that I use for cameras and things like that. The gimbal that I'm currently using with this camera, I can charge it off of this. So anything that's, like I said, that uses under 300 running watts, you can run off of one of these. Again, the you've got the six USB Type A plugs on the side so iPads, phones, other tablets uh, even batteries that charge off of this type of uh, outlet you can charge those now if your phone supports USB-C and 45 watt fast charging this is supposed to be a 45 watt port 
So you should be able to get the fast charging off of that USB-C port there. So I'm going to show you that it does actually run the TV and the Amazon Fire Stick. So currently I have the TV plugged into it running off of antenna. I'll show you. To run the Summit TV that comes with the striker. Uh, it's going to take up between 49 and 50. It looks like it's fluctuating between 49 and 50 watts. That's off of this cable. And the other plug is for the Amazon Fire Stick. So I'll show you that it's uh, running the TV. It's off of over the air antenna. And now let's get the Fire Stick started up. Yeah, so 50 watts so far. And let's change the input. Let's see what we're with. Well, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of power usage from that. Uh, for 47, 48, 49, it looks like it settled down a bit. But as you can see, my Amazon Fire Stick is running off the t uh, through the TV. So um, that's uh, so that's not too bad. A bit slow, uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's running off of that, and it's nevertheless running off of the Tac Life P40, and we've got a little over 50 watts of power being drained off of it, which is not bad. Uh, this uh, Tac Life is has come in handy. Um, one of my hobbies is remote control cars and trucks and I can take my 200 watt uh, 4S, 3S and 2S battery charger plug it into here and charge any of those batteries um, it doesn't have a problem doing that because it's a 200 watt charger that's less than 300 watts running watts so it doesn't have an issue doing that and I can do that out on site wherever I'm at and having this in the striker is really convenient especially during travel because you know in rest areas I really don't want to fire up a generator and I can still with this I can still actually um, watch TV for a couple of hours a night before going to sleep in addition to running things like this work sharp knife sharpener uh, and many other things like I said uh, battery chargers for cameras as well as uh, my DeWalt battery chargers for my DeWalt devices anyway that's just a quick look at the Tech Life P40 again the company's called Tech Life the model of this one is a P40 Tech Life has a P30 a P40 and a P50 and each one is a different range uh, different number of amp hours for the battery so uh, there will be that difference on some there will actually be differences of numbers of AC outlets as well as USB ports and things like that so if you do look into anything like that uh, check and make sure it has the right number of ports you need in addition to having the number of amp hours in the battery that you might want so there's two things kind of things you need to check when looking into things like that it's so where they go with Tac Life Jackery, Blue Eddy, any of those. Uh, they're similar. Uh, each one has differences in uh, ports and things like that. But overall, uh, having these portable power stations uh, really does help, especially in, in camping, RVing. Anyway, 
thanks for checking out the video hope this helped uh, and if you haven't already done so consider subscribing if you like the video please give it a like and consider sharing it and until next time stay safe and healthy